Okay, here's a weird take on the reality of things and how they might be. Just a possibility, I'm not really hanging my hat on it, but there are quite a few things, especially in religion, that show you their connections to the stars, which has always been somewhat strange. I saw somebody in a little clip from Ancient Aliens say something along this line, and it got me thinking of something that I came up with whenever I saw a description of time travel created by going near the speed of light whenever I was a child. Well, I say a child, whenever I was in my early teens, pretty much. And in that idea, they gave the idea that's in that new movie with Matthew McConaughey, where it shows you an idea of if somebody goes near the speed of light or near a black hole and have this gravitational effect, the effects of time work on that person much differently than it does back at home, i.e. if you both had a wristwatch on at the same time and they were calibrated exactly, if somebody was to zip off at the speed of light for a few years and come back, not only would just the watch be a few different things, but all of a sudden your kids would look like your grandparents to you and you'd only be, of course, a few years older because you had only experienced a few years of this effect happening. In fact, they theorize now that as you go into a black hole, somebody from the exterior point of it, way beyond the threshold, looking in would see you slowly start to go into it and just slow down and almost stop because you'd be going so fast that somehow it would make it appear to the outside world where everything almost stops. And I've said in another video, that's what I think uh, almost happens to a person whenever they go through death, that all their endorphins release and stuff, and then their last moments seem to egress on for a long time. You go through a dream state and so on. When that happens, you have an experience or an out-of-body experience too and so on that goes along with that. Perhaps a bright light. But what I'm talking about here is the concept of aliens. I know I started with the Anunnaki one, but that's because I couldn't find and pull up my one that was just about space. So I was saving the Anunnaki one for actually talking about the Anunnaki themselves. And you will see that eventually coming up in a video talking about them and connectives. But this is an idea that I had whenever I was a kid, whenever they said that whenever you go through this effect of going near the speed of light, that time changes so rapidly. And I had the idea, I still think way back, that it was before I had ever even heard of the concept at all, that perhaps the spacemen and the aliens were talking about are actually us and that we had gone to the future in an effective way and then been able to come back. See, because all we have really is the past. We don't have the future at all. Well, that's why I like history. At least we can study things that actually really went on. But you have a past whether that's been changed, conflagrated, and what you believe nowadays compared to if you were standing there when it happened, you'd be like, well, where's all this stuff that I heard about at? Things like that. But this idea of grays that people talk about, what was strange about it whenever I was a kid, thinking through this idea, and of course I'd already seen Chariot of the Gods and a few other things, so things like this were coming to mind. But the idea that somebody could have been people that left Earth, maybe even in our future, and then they were coming back to help ourselves. And it seems like they actually were able to find some way to come back a little bit in the past. So say in the next few hundred years, we get to the point of being Star Trek, and then some of these people end up becoming and evolving into these aliens that you're looking at here in grays, you know. And then because of that effect, whenever they came back to us, 
they look very humanoid-ish, but they've been changed. I think I got this idea from watching Close Encounters of the Third Kind and the way those people looked. And of course that was often an idea of what people would look like if they'd been in space for a long time, perhaps that they would have this elongated reach that in regular gravity that would be real straining on them, but they could be living in a microgravity environment all the time and what that would make them look like. Then I remember hearing, and oh, I guess it was like fourth or fifth grade that they talked about how we're evolving right now and this second knuckle on your fingers if you have a lot of hair, less hair, or no hair, that's different evolutions and things that are going on. They didn't have DNA figured out totally yet to figure out what's making that up or where you're getting what from or anything like that. But they said that was different and a show of evolution. And the fact that our earlobes sometimes are connected to the skin on the side of our head and at other times they make a definitive earlobe and then other times they make a real definitive earlobe, like a hanger situation. And that, that was signs of it too. Also the little thing under your tongue and a few other things that they talked about uh, that could be ways that we're evolving because we don't have a need for it. Our nose is becoming smaller over time because we're not even, we don't even have the olfactory senses anymore of an animal that we did back a few species ago, if you will. And therefore, we uh, don't really need it as much anymore. And due to the fact that we've overcome all our illness and disease and stuff, the, uh, they don't necessarily need that anymore. And it's not needed so well that your nose shrinks away. And our, So they said that here's what humans might look like in a few hundred thousand years, perhaps. Well, at first they were showed something that looked like 10,000 years in the future and then 50 and then 100. But what it became slowly over time is a hairless person with bigger eyes, with a lack of a nose, with elongated limbs, and looked a lot like the ones that you're seeing right here in this video. So that's a strange little twist that you put together. And so, you know, there's that idea that, well, who are the aliens? And I, I, idea number 73, if you will, on that answer would be, well, it's possible. I mean, seriously, it is possible due to the way we believe of physics and everything works and we keep finding things out each decade, it seems to envelope itself. But here we have the concept that the answer to that question might be ourselves. That in the future, we're coming back and that somehow going 10,000 light years away and setting up a colony and doing all this and then evolving rapidly through that whole journey and then on the new place and then coming all the way back we well, just to check out probe party and so on like that some of these things may be probes but if you believe there are aliens watching us and every once in a while you know hey, that starts to sound like god watching you and everything doesn't it peeking over your shoulder. Funny how things like that change over time with the knowledge of society and the way that everybody's told to and starts looking at things, isn't it? I believe that if we find an alien creature, it's very possible we'll find something like the blob. And if you really look at the blob, the blob is just some type of like bacteria thing that goes around. If you've ever looked at them under a microscope, they'll go, scope, they go under around eating things, consuming stuff. And that's what that would look like, perhaps a sentient blob. It's entirely possible things like that happen, just like aliens, like we see right in the bottom middle of the picture here where you'll find somebody that's really an insect 
and it doesn't have acid spit or anything like a bombardier ant or those things or bombardier beetle it's uh its blood is even based on it somehow so it would be immune to things like that totally with it the way its carapace is built around its body but that's the way i think a real alien would look like and when we keep seeing these grays that look totally different in a concept you know, than something out of the Aliens movies. We see these grays. What if the concept is that's us from in the future from the past? If that statement makes any sense to anybody. I still think it's viable and possible I've even heard a man that was deep into physics give that representation before, but never to try to say that it was the aliens. Just to say that, you know, what if we went away and came back, we'd come back as Star Trek and everybody would be freaking out and you'd have to go, it's just us. Kind of like in the Star Trek movie where whenever they went back in time to save the whales and they were from the future, but it pulled that off. Well, it seems like it may be totally impossible to pull off this go to the future, go to the past situation. But in, in relation to each other, it's entirely possible. And especially the fact that you could live on thousands of years in relation to people. You could take this little ride just for a few years if you could get something going at the speed of light, which I'll talk about here in just a second. And then all of a sudden to come back. And when you come back, your grandkids may be dead already. And you're still alive. It's only been those five, six, eight years or whatever it took for you, for it to happen to you. And it all depends on how close you get to the speed of light. Speaking of that, they, you know, when I was a kid, they were like, they don't know how to do it and everything. Right. But I had just gone through the idea of the, different uh, space probes that we'd send out into our own solar system going and bending around other planets and getting a whip from them, getting a slingshot. And even one of the examples they gave was like old roller derby where one would grab the other one's arms and then sling them and get them going and put you out on another trajectory by just bumping the thrust there for a second right whenever you're aimed at it right and poof, there you're going. Then you might need to correct a little bit from there, but it gets you in the ballpark, right? Well, in my mind, I thought of the idea of, well, the sun's got to be the one with the most power that's onto it, but you can't get that close to it. But what if we were to send something to the outer planets and let's just pretend they lined up somewhat, what needs to be lined up for what I'm talking about. And so what you do is you send it way out, perhaps around Uranus or so on, and then have it come back. And when it does, it goes around Saturn and Jupiter and around both of those and it gets a big whip off of it. And then it comes in towards the sun, gets another whip off of Mars or us again, perhaps. Don't know if we'd want to even try that idea with something like that coming by us. So we probably have to pick any of the other planets. And as it's whipping by the sun, it bends and catches, you know, it's not real close to the sun, like that probe they sent not too long ago. But in effect, it's just going around it so fast that all of a sudden it gets a whip off of that and maybe even get a whip off another planet just a little bit after it does that on the way out of the solar system. But surely if we got something whip, 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 and we did that right in a way, along with thrust and so on and figured it out, we could... Well, we could get as fast as we could probably get going in this solar system, sort of short of taking the sun and using its power for us in a total different way than I'm talking about using the sun's power, huh? Anyhow, it's just a thought. Let me know what y'all think downstairs, but uh, it's come to mind and stuff. And then uh, it's something I thought of when I was a kid, but it's one of those things that I told you I put on a shelf about aliens and silly stuff like that. And I was just watching these little short clips that are about 30 seconds long about shows and stuff. And Ancient Aliens popped up and they didn't actually say that it was us. But there we go. And then, uh, of course, we had that idea before where somebody could go away and come back. And I tried to put two and two together and here we go. Well, was that the Anunnaki? 
Well, that's probably for another video. Let me know what y'all think downstairs. Peace.